All my life, I only had a job for about 17 months. And that was not even a proper job because I was fortunate to be treated like a king, which is unusual for most employees. However, even though I had a job where I was treated like a king, those 17 months were still one of the worst periods of my life. I hated it. Yeah, some of you watching this video may think that I'm lazy and you're probably right. Maybe I'm lazy but maybe I'm not wired to be an employee. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you some of the reasons why you might hate your job and I'll try to suggest a few things I think you can do. If you're new here, you may want to subscribe so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. The world where everyone was trained to be a fish Albert Einstein once wrote, Everybody is a genius but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it is stupid. In other words, humans are created so differently. I'm different from you. You are very much different from me. The problem comes, however, when we have a stupid system that brainwashes every kid to be the same. The number one reason why you may not love your job is that maybe you're not wired to be an employee. This is the thing. Some people were designed by God in such a way that it makes them love everything about taking an order and being submissive to a boss. They love it and that's their life. But for other people, they hate to be ordered around. They hate to have any authority over their lives. They love control. You may call them arrogant but that's how they are wired. Think about this. Why do you hate your job? If what you hate about your job is the fact that someone tells you what to do, it's not your fault. Maybe you're wired to hate being ordered around and that's fine. Stubbornness and freedom Now, there's good news. Most people who love to be on their own are usually very stubborn individuals. If you think that you hate your job because you hate being ordered around and you're not stubborn, then you need to sit down and assess yourself you probably hate your job for another reason. In my observation, people who hate to be ordered around are usually very obstinate and stubborn individuals. This is good news because being stubborn is one of the important attributes of every entrepreneur. So, if you truly hate your job because you hate being ordered around, there's a high tendency that you'll be a stubborn individual and if you're stubborn, you'll probably do well as an entrepreneur. The bird that can't swim one day, a farmer stole an eaglet's eggs and added them to his hen's eggs. The hen hatched the eaglet's eggs and the little eagles grew up together with the chicken. Since these little eagles never saw any of their zoom siblings flying, they never for once tried to fly. Unfortunately, all these eagles died without ever flying. This is what is happening today. Yes, not everyone can be an entrepreneur but too many people who can be entrepreneurs are not entrepreneurs because like that farmer, the society and school have stolen them away from their rightful position. Many people who ought to be successful entrepreneurs are now unhappy employees because right from when they were three years old, everyone around them had always been telling them about good grades and good jobs. If you're a stubborn individual who hates his job because he's been ordered around, it's likely because you're a stubborn individual and because of this trait, you have the right talent for entrepreneurship. However, if you're a grown-up adult when you watch this video, you have a lot of work to do. You have a lot of work to do not because it's impossible for you to be an entrepreneur but because you spent too many years consuming lies and negativism in the school and society. When people are 17, they are not only young in bones their brains are yet to be permanently conditioned to believe certain things about life and money. When people are 45, they have spent more than 25 years as adults. These people have consumed all outlets of media where everyone blames the president of their country for their poverty. They have made friends with a lot of poor people who have unknowingly infected them with a lot of negativism. They have been through several schools where the only message is about good jobs. Now, the problem people have about being an entrepreneur when they are 40 or 45 isn't about their physical bodies. The real problem is about your mind because for you to learn a new thing, you have to unlearn the old stuff. You can't believe in a good job 
and at the same time believe in creating those jobs. You can't believe in an easy life where someone takes care of you and still believe in entrepreneurship where you take care of others. You can't believe spending money as fast as you make it and also believe in delayed gratification which is what entrepreneurship is all about. Now, you can see, the biggest problem with being an entrepreneur for people who are already grown up is that they have been taught and conditioned to believe so many lies about money and because of this, you have to be determined to unlearn a lot of things and reprogram your mind to think like an entrepreneur. Reading books written by entrepreneurs may be the best place to start. Waking up early and the problem with colleagues A few other reasons why you may hate your job is because you have to wake up early and run out or because you don't like the people you work with. Some other people complain about the fact that they feel that they are not appreciated enough by their employers. Some feel that they are underpaid. Unfortunately, not all of these problems can be easily solved. For instance, if anyone thinks that he's underpaid, then that's a difficult problem to solve because it's about individuals. I tell you, you're the reason why you're underpaid and that's the first thing you have to admit. You're also responsible for the fact that you're not appreciated enough. You're the reason why your employer asks you to resume work at fixed hours. Now that I've made a few people angry because I blame them for what they think is not their fault, let me explain what I mean. You see, nobody cares about you. I say this repeatedly on this channel and most people don't understand what I mean. When I say nobody cares about you, that's not to mean that your mother, siblings or some friends don't love you. But here's the thing, you don't work for your mother and your wife isn't your boss. While a few people may like or love you when you're at home, that's not where you spend most of your time. Most of your time is spent right in the jungle, in the business world or at your working place. Right there, nobody cares to care about you. Because nobody cares about you in the jungle, you have to be strong or you'll be eaten raw. Being strong means having great value to offer. Being strong means having skills and knowledge which most people don't have. I am an employer and I can tell you this. Every employer has indispensable employees and treats those indispensable employees very differently. I've said it before on this channel and I want to repeat it. Your goal in life should be to become an entrepreneur or an indispensable employee. These two are difficult and tough but if you can become either of the two, you'll have most things you need out of life. So, in conclusion, if you hate your job, it's either because you hate to be ordered around, you hate the fact that you don't have flexible working hours, you're not well appreciated, you don't like the people or environment you work or you're underpaid. Regardless of what the issues are, there are only two solutions. Build your own business or become an indispensable employee. These two require that you have skills, courage and determination which most people don't have. You can do it if you think you can do it. Did you enjoy this video? Then you'll enjoy our other channel about money. We call it Money TV. Kindly look at the description box to join the Money TV. We love you.